Welcome everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Myself, my fiance Claire, and both of our brothers were lucky enough to go to South Korea and take a little bit of time off last week. It was an amazing trip. We did so much, we saw so much, it was awesome. We went to Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. Whilst we were there, we obviously bought a few items, went into one massive toy shop, and me being me, obviously, spotted some Pokemon cards. On my desk here, you can see the exact box, and you can very clearly tell that it is all in Korean as you expect in a Korean shop. So I picked up this box and I thought, you know what? It'd be quite cool to actually check out and open up some Korean Pokemon cards rather than obviously the English ones that I normally open. Now, although the trip was amazing, the language barrier was definitely an issue. Not that many people spoke really good English. Fortunately, my brother Simon had been learning Korean for a little while and was honestly great, helped us so much. But he wasn't with us when I bought these cards. Now, I'd never seen this packaging before. I wasn't really sure to be honest with you, what I was buying. However, once opening it up, look how many packs came inside this thing. I actually haven't counted it, but I mean, it's so many. The first thing to note is the fact that these don't contain the normal, I think, was it nine cards? Uh, there's only five cards inside each of these little packs. I was a little bit worried that maybe there'd be predetermined cards inside these packs and you could only get basic ones, but I did a little bit of a test and I opened up a few of the packs just to see if you could get anything good. And if we go all the way to the back, look at that. That is a tag team Alola Muck and Normal Muck GX in Korean. How cool is that? So now knowing that you can pull all of the really rare cards from these packs, I knew I had to turn it into a video for you guys and see what cards we could get. Crazy thing is, all of these cards, I swear it only cost me like 20 pounds. It was like 36,000 won. It wasn't very much money. Now, yes, I still do have some packs I said I'd open from when I went to the Pokemon store in London. If I could spend all my time opening Pokemon cards, I probably would. But let's first of all see how many of these packs we can get through. See if we can pull some ultra rare Korean Pokemon cards. And if you're going to enjoy and want to see more of this, do give it a big fat thumbs up. I'm looking to be a lot more active here on my second channel. So stay tuned for loads of awesomeness. And without further ado, subscribe if you haven't done so already to my second channel right here. Hope you guys are excited. Let's open some cards. The good thing about there being less cards is you don't need to put any of them to the back. You can literally just open them up and they're all there. So that's what a pack looks like. Korean language is such a cool looking language. I'm not too sure. I actually think if I do pull a really rare card, the worth of the Korean card is a lot less than anything like in the UK or US, but it just looks a lot cooler. Ooh, okay. Got herself a cheeky Porygon Z Hollow. Look at that. That's a really nice card, actually. The cool thing is, these cards that I'm opening, because I haven't opened Pokemon cards in, like, well over a year or two, a lot of these cards I don't have anyway, so it's new to me, which is awesome. I asked last time, but I will ask again. Let me know the newest packs or even just the packs which contain the coolest cards, and I'll buy a load of them. I mean, let's not forget, it's still on my desk. It's now actually in a sealed uh, little case. I pulled this bad boy from just four packs. My luck can be really good sometimes. On the topic of Pokemon, whilst I was out in Seoul, the Pokestops and everything Pokemon Go related was nuts. I think I should do an update video for you guys. Anything good? Oh, that's not too bad. That's pretty sweet. I like that. But I definitely need to do a shiny Pokemon update for you guys because my luck in Seoul, South Korea, it was nuts. Ooh, yo, that is sick. Look at that. Hollow Arcanine. He's got the poker gym behind him. I don't know what any of the words means, but he can hit seriously hard. And actually has a lot of HP as well. That's awesome. If you guys haven't seen it already, since doing the Pokemon uh, haul video, I went to the London Pokemon pop-up shop. Oh my gosh. There's been queues, I think, that have lasted nine hours that go out of the shopping mall in, like, like outside to queue up to go into the store. So another bigger thank you to Nintendo for letting me go early because holy cow, that's a long line to get in. Okay, Rhyferia, love that. Recently actually evolved him in Pokemon Go. Crazy thing is he has, l oh, he has more HP but hits less hard than Arcanine. I'm now starting to realize how lucky that card was, but at least we know it's possible to pull some bangers. So one thing that's interesting, I could be wrong here. If anyone's got better knowledge on like Asia, let me know. But you see on the pack here, 
it basically tells you, I think, like the chance or, or how many different types of cards there are. So really common, there's 43. And then, you know, not so common, rare, are the shiny, secret rares, etc. Uh, it basically gives you an idea of your chances as to what you're going to pull within these packs. I know specifically within Japan, maybe other places as well, if you're playing a game that has any sort of loot box system, you have to be told the chances of what you could get before you open it. So Pokemon cards, for example, which is just completely random, buying this pack is gonna get something completely different to the other pack. You actually have to be told your chances of what you may get inside. Just an interesting little fact there. And uh, woo, Spirit Tomb, nice. Another hollow. this guy also uh, being one of the Pokemon Go tasks recently, happened two years in a row now, so I've got two of them on my account. I quite like this way of opening and like leaving the cards on the desk as a little back Background. It's quite awesome. Unfortunately, <laughs> with only five cards, there isn't really too much to build up or hype over. Honestly, with the amount of packs I have, it's probably easier to do it this way anyway. Come on, give us a banger. Give us a banger. No, that's definitely not a banger, but that is very cute. So we'll put that at the top. Oddish. Oh, there's something. There's something good coming. I should maybe do these one by one like I do normal packs. Oddish. Korean name. Korean name. Korean. Whoa! Let's go, baby. I'm wondering if I've got this in English. I don't think I do. That is a full art GX Persian, ladies and gentlemen. That is an absolute banger. Obviously, everything in Korean as well. I wonder if it's harder for them to fit all the lettering on in a different language like this, or if it fits on okay. That is awesome. By far our best pull yet. Putting us at two Korean GX cards now, but we need more than just two, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in for another. Happini, Oddish. Ooh, okay. You know what? I <laughs> made my uh, knowledge of Pokemon names a little bit more obvious but I'm lacking a little bit when it's in a different language. So I can't even just read the names. Come on, give us some bangers. Give us some bangers. An Ultra Ball. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and put Gloom there instead, I reckon. I wonder if all Korean packs come as like five cards at a time. That'd be crazy if it is. I actually wish I bought more of these. They had loads of different sets and I didn't really know what I was buying. So I just hesitantly bought one, but I wish I'd bought loads of them. Anything else? Whoa! Thunderous is that called? That's awesome. That's amazing. Legendary Hollow. We've got a few really nice hollows in there actually. Arcanine, Spirit Tomb, Thunderous, all in a line. And actually Porygon Z as well. So does that mean in three packs time we're gonna get another banger? Let's see, what have we got? Oh, Ghastly, Doug Trio. Oh, what the? Yo, is that one of the Ultra Beasts? I think we may have just pulled an Ultra Beast. Annoyingly, Ghastly. So whilst I was actually in Korea, there was the uh, Halloween event going on. And as I said, my shiny luck was insane. But the one I really wanted was shiny Ghastly and I didn't get it, unfortunately. Luckily, I do already have a shiny Gengar, but still, Still wanted it. Shiny Mistrevious got that. Ooh. Oh, Giovanni. Team Rocket playing a big part in Pokemon Go at the moment as well. Look at that. Okay, this is the pack. If everything's gonna line up, we need a banger right now. Come on. Seal, no. Fair, no. Ryan, no. Okay, we've got a holo though. Actually, somehow, magically, staying in tune with the pattern of holo cards we're getting. That's quite cool. Somehow I've opened loads. I actually think we're gonna get through all of these packs in one video. That's fine though. Another ghastly haunting me. They didn't get it as shiny. Anything else? Oh, Kingler. That's pretty cool. You can go up the front. Krabby over there as well. I feel like we deserve at least one more banger, guys. I, I just feel it. I just feel it. Oh, Weezing, that's cool art as well. And also a low look, no, sorry. Galore, 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 um, Weezing coming uh, obviously out with Pokemon Sword and Shield very soon. I hope Nintendo send me Pokemon Sword and Shield. They're normally very good at sending me stuff, Pokemon and Nintendo, so I appreciate you guys. In fact, I got a Luigi's Mansion box to open downstairs that I missed whilst I was away, so that's exciting. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to put right on to the front there. Look at him. What an absolute. He's even got Giovanni in the background. That's awesome. I reckon we can fit on the rest of the cards right here. Which cards do you think are cooler, guys? The Korean ones or the English ones? Oh, another Litten. Okay, okay. Oh, no, another. Oh, no. Okay, we're starting to get dupes now. That ain't good. We don't like dupes. Not at all. We want bangers. Jigglypuff Glue. Oh, nice. Mew. That's how you spell Mew 
in Korean. That is awesome. May not be a GX or anything super special, but it's Mew. You, you, you can't go wrong with Mew. Only a few packs left, guys. Oh, Growlithe looking cute. Anything. Oh, another one. Okay, you know what? Growlithe, I'm gonna put you at the front, buddy. Two more packs, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if the odds of pulling rare cards are the same over there as they are over here. Seem a little bit lower, but I guess the packs are smaller. Ooh, okay, nice. Brand new card, we'll put that over there. Unless there's one that I've missed somewhere. I think this is gonna be the last pack. Give me some good luck by hitting that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, South Korea, send me a beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay, I've kind of ruined it, but there is something here. What is it gonna, whoa, Honch Crow GX. Ladies and gentlemen, how have we managed to finish off with such a banger? Look at that. Not full art, but a GX card looking super, super shiny. Packs were saving one of the best till last. That is so cool. So, to summarize, we got ourselves a full art Persian GX right at the end. Hong Crow GX as well. We got a Mew. We got a few legendaries, a few shinies in there. The best card, annoyingly, the tag team card. I opened up off camera, but hey, it made me do this video because I knew we could pull some cool stuff. But what do you reckon, guys? Korean Pokemon cards. I've had a load of fun opening these up. As I said, I've got the other ones to open up as well. You know what I'm like? I love myself some Pokemon cards. I'm just a little bit addicted. If you've enjoyed, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos here on the channel, and I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.